Let's call it the three-day process. So whenever you embark upon a change in your life, you make a change. You feel in yourself this renewed energy. You make... One second. You make this new change. You have an intention, an idea, a desire, a vision, and you say, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Let's take that as an example. So day one, and day one, there's day one, day two, day three, and the three days don't necessarily come in that order. They come in that order, but they don't necessarily last for one day each. It's just a representation. But on day one, we make the new decision, the new decision. We make the new intention. We feel the revelation. We feel, ah, yes, that's a beneficial change to make in my life. That frees me up. That feels aligned. That resonates. Day two will be the day of the challenge. Day two will be the day where you challenge yourself in some mysterious, magical way. You put a roadblock ahead of you or something that really tests you, tests your confidence, tests your ability to stay in the creative energy, to stay in the free, confident energy of yourself, that which resonates, to stay in your no-nonsense, confident, trusting policy, energy. And day three, if you make it through day two, which most people don't do, <laughs> is the day of confirmation, the day of celebration. It's the day of deeper conviction because you're now shown the results of your perseverance, of your confidence. And so the results are confirming. It's the day of confirmation and it is a celebration. You rejoice, you feel really happy, you feel really ecstatic. And it's... Um, it deepens your conviction because every time you do this one, two, three day process, every time you get over that challenge day that you put in front of yourself, and this challenge can last for years for some people, depending on if you actually tackle it or not. And it may last just a second, depending on the challenge and depending on how ready you are and how confident your no-nonsense policy is. But day three, if you get there, once you get there, eventually you'll get there some way. But when you get there, it will again confirm the power that you are, the freedom that you have, the love that you are, the worthiness that you have to be in love with yourself, to have a happy life. Suffering is not a given of this world. It's not. It's not a standard everybody needs to go by. It's not. Spiritual, mental, emotional, or physical suffering is not, per se, a given. It's a creation. So, it usually gets created when we don't maintain our creative high energy in day two. And most people live their entire lives in day two. <laughs> and so we create all these diseases, we create all these mental disabilities, we create all these anxieties and fears. If we had learned to live this way and actually make it to day three every single day with everything we tried, everything we desired, everybody would be fucking happy. That's how we can live. And I know it's hard to believe that this is the way the universe can actually work, that this is the way human life can actually function. But it's only hard to believe because you're still in day two. Because you've been in day two for so long. You've been seeing things as an obstacle for so long. So no wonder if for 58 years, or maybe a little less, assuming as a kid you didn't see obstacles, you've seen obstacles, you've taught to see obstacles and everything, and impossibilities, and improbabilities, and unworthy elements about yourself, and guilt, and shame. No wonder you don't believe in heaven on earth. No wonder you don't believe that life can actually smoothly, intelligently, beneficially, lovingly work for you. No wonder you feel betrayed. No wonder you feel like a victim. No wonder you feel afraid, scared, alone, incapable, incapacitated, etc. Inadequate, unworthy. But if we teach our kids, and if we now teach ourselves, this day one, day two, day three, this three day process of the intention the new vision, the desire, the authentic desire that springs up in our heart, like a child has a desire, has a vision. Yeah, this is totally possible. Then day two, where you put a challenge in front of yourself, 
Now day two does not even have to last, doesn't even have to occur anymore at some point. But since we are still in this sort of collective agreement as we are, there's going to be a day two, there's going to be a challenge, there's going to be something that could be defined as a roadblock or seen as an invitation for greater maneuverability, to learn greater maneuverability, greater creativity, greater inspiration. Let everything be an inspiration for even greater confidence that it's not an obstacle. It's just an invitation to check in with your energy and to, ah, to move forward.